one. Hi everyone, this is Christine Jossie of Mail Something Pretty, and I wanna show you this fun pinwheel card. This was a club project, and um, so I made this video for those who can come, so you can put yours together. And uh, for everyone else who's watching, I'm gonna give you the measurements and show you how you can make your own too, but isn't it fun? And then it folds up, as long as we get the butterflies right. One of these, I, I think that one I didn't do right. It folds up um, and it fits right into an envelope so you can mail it off. All right, so I'll show you what I did wrong on that one. Um, so in your packet for a club, you're gonna get a whole bunch of papers and your butterflies. You have um, different size strips of paper. So I'm gonna just put those out here. Have three three sets of four and then one extra. So you have your solids. Okay, so that's kind of what you get in your packet. Um, I made a template, and this is what I do a lot for fancy fold cards. Just use old paper, scrap paper, and make a template, and sometimes I write on it what it is. So then when I want to make it again in a year or two. I kind of, it gives me a little bit of a thought process. Um, Jill from Club came uh, the, following, the previous month and her sister had mailed her a pinwheel card and Jill said, I want to make this. I'd never seen one before. So I took notes and I took photographs and I kind of came up with um, at least the way that we're making it, um, our template. So you need, like I said, you need um, kind of three sets of panels. So the solid panel, right? So that's these solid ones, so the bigger ones. Those sizes are, I have them here somewhere. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I did the right thing. Uh, two and three quarters by four. Yeah, four, and I'll tell you why I made a mistake there. Um, so you need four panels, two and three quarters by four. And if you want patterns on top of them, right? Those um, are two and a half by four. Oh no, so those are four and a quarter. I'm gonna explain why I'm mixed up in a second. Um, okay, so let's rewind a second. The solid panels are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Let's move these next to me. The, panel, the pattern paper that goes on top of the pattern paper is two and a half by four. Got it. And then these little side panels, these guys here, those are one and a half by four. So I have four of them. And then your, I don't know what you call it, but your little square that makes a pinwheel um, is a designer, it's a thinner piece, so it's a designer series paper. And that you can do of two sizes, which is why I've got mixed up. It should be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then scored every inch. Um, and I'll show you why I say should be because I cut it wrong. You can do it um, four and a quarter by four. And the reason why I got mixed up is when we um, cut our 12 by 12 designer papers, a lot of times it's smart to cut it on the four inch mark because you can get three four inch panels. So when this was four and a quarter, it, it's not as <laughs> paper cutting friendly. Um, and so I accidentally cut it on four. So this one that you have in your envelope is four and a quarter wide, right? I scored it at an inch at each turn, and then you're left with a quarter inch. And then I did four inches tall. And you can actually do that. Yeah, I put these ones together because what happens is you can see the pattern, right? And if you flip it over, you can see my pattern does not quite make it to the end. It's a quarter inch short but who's looking at the upside down bottom side of the card? So you can either cut it four and a quarter by four and a quarter or four and a quarter by four and then just do this. And that's what we're gonna do for this video. I hope I didn't confuse you. I'm sure I did. Um, okay, so first things first is we are going to put our papers and I am, I say randomly, partially randomly going to, and that's not gonna work. Um, that will work. I'm going to 
going to put my layers on it. it they all match each other, so it really does not matter um, which patterns. I'm using the peach. I don't know. It might just be called peach, actually, or peach something, or Swiss, some sort of peach paper. I forget what it's called in the catalog. It's beautiful paper. And then we're putting butterflies on it. We're not even using the peach set to go with it. Um, and as you are putting yours together, there are two sides of the paper, so feel free to use whichever side you like. Like I said, they all kind of match each other. All right. All right, so all my patterns, and I did this one white so that I could write a message. Um, so I can write a little message on there. So you can um, either, if you wanna write your message and then glue it on there, you can do that, or you can, it does, it lays fairly flat, so you can write your message on there. Okay. And so you saw me before, I was folding this so that becomes a square. So you can, um, for this, but you can ha you you really only see a little bit of the inside, and so you can decide if you want to see the peach side or the kind of blue circle side. Um, if you want to see the blue circle side, you're gonna glue it that way. If you want to see the peach side, then you just fold it this way. And you see it that way. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put a little glue on the tab here. Since mine's been folded so many times, I'm just going to fold it straight over. And I like to do that this way. You've seen me do it with boxes and different things this way. Because then I know it's flat. Unless If I was just doing it in my hands, it may not be a, a perfect 90 degree. And then you can just fold it the other way too. So now I know I have a perfect square. Okay, so we are going to just pick one up, doesn't matter. Um, this part does matter. So remember I said the solid panel is four and a quarter, and now really this is only four. So when you are gonna glue it together, just make sure you just align all of these up to the top, and then you're gonna have all on the each of the bottoms. I'll show you a quarter inch off. And it, really for the purpose of the card construction, it doesn't matter. Um, so that was luckily a happy mistake. So I am lining up my first panel so it is even with the top and the side that fold. So when I take it up, it looks like it's glued like that. It's not going to stand up because I have that quarter inch off. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the next one. So. You can either kind of play with it, so I say, oh yeah, that's going to go that way, and they're all going to go that way. Let's see. Me too. So I'm just going to fold it, put a little glue down, or whatever adhesive, but I really like this glue. I'm going to make sure that this top edge matches that top edge, and the side goes right up to that fold. When I lift it off, it looks like that starting to look like a pinwheel and the same thing so I'm going to fold it down that way my next one is going to go like that edge to edge top or top edge to top edge side to side like that so they really come together pretty nicely and my last one right so I can't fold it how I was doing before so either I could hold it and put glue like this and put it down there, or I can just go this way and know that it's going to go on top like that. So that's how I'm going to do it. Same thing, top to top and then the side edge to the fold edge. And there we go. There's our pin wheel. Okay, so we still have these side panels. So now you're just gonna put them down. So again, there's two sides to piece of paper.
Hmm? I'm not too fast with my smushing. There we go. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna save that one for that one, so I'll just do that. So I think this would be a fabulous card for the new Halloween paper. So I will have to, um, I will have to make one up. Um, you could do it with Christmas paper. I would, this would be a really cool Christmas card to send out to everyone, but it does take a little while to cut. Um, but if you're doing like assembly line, it, then it, you throw a movie on, it wouldn't be so bad. And they come together pretty easy. Can you imagine getting this as a Christmas card? That would be cool. Okay, so now all my panels are glued down. And so I just included butterflies because I just didn't know, you know, you can stamp or you can decorate however you want. The only thing with the butterflies is, let's see, some of mine are correct. Like I put it, I liked how the butterfly went off. So just make sure when you close it, right, it's within these two boundaries, but you also have to make sure. So this one is within the boundaries, but when this one's closed, this one isn't. So that's not gonna fit into an envelope. That's not gonna fit into an envelope. So this card does not fit in an envelope, but that's all right. And then this one, I, I put it together and I realized I offset it on the wrong side. So just know that when it's, you know, so I just, I actually glued it and it kind of came undone. So just be wary of where you put your butterflies. And again, let's see, I hope, let's see if I can do it right. I like how they, um, you know what? I'm gonna put one on this panel. I hadn't done that yet. A little variety. And I only put glue on the body of the butterfly. And that will close okay. Yep. Let's see. This will close fine. So again, so it's gonna offset here or go over, but it won't when it's closed. The more of them I do, the more of them I learn. So it's, I just won't close it that way. I'll just make sure when I close it, uh-oh, I lost my butterfly. It fell off. And then this one I will put on, I think I'll just put it on right in the middle. Okay, and I'm just gonna let it stand up to glue, I mean to dry, for the glue to dry. Okay, so that is the one we just made. Isn't that cool? And it fits right, once I close it right, it fits right in an envelope, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of varieties. You can do lots of different papers. It really doesn't take up too much paper. So if you have some scraps left over, it's a good way to use up your scraps. And it's fun. It's a fun, fancy fold. All right, I appreciate you watching. If you're from Club or if you just are watching to learn how to make a pinwheel card, hopefully I didn't mix you up too much. I will post the measurements on my blog and um, that should help clear things up as well. Uh, my blog is mailsomethingpretty.com. And uh, please hon, hop on over there to check me out and sign up for my, ma my mailing list. I'm talking too fast um, when you're there as well. Thank you very much. Christine from Mail Something Pretty. Bye-bye.